Howdy folks, Kirk J. Lou, Carl and Dan here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What I'm going to explain today is we're going to color coat this entire house. We're going to make this look like this. A fine sand finish, elegant for buildings, uh, finer homes, and all the rest of that jazz. That'll be in the description of this video. What is this video? This video is going to be titled, Why Weep Screeds Are Used, and What's the Purpose When People Take the Stucco to the Ground? Uh, they'll take the stucco all the way to the ground. Let's see, I'll explain that. And about, this is how long I've been in the trade, guys. When I first got in the trades, there were no shear wall. There was no plywood, OSB. It was just studs. Then they said, gee, from now on, you've got to do the, the roofs as well as the walls with plywood. But also, they said, in about 1980s, don't quote me on the exact year, or when we were doing our lath when I first started plastering forever ago, we would take the paper, and the paper would drop down two inches, technically, two inches past the mud seal, the, the found, you got your, mud, your foundation. Then you got a piece of wood on that. It's usually a piece of pressure treated or redwood or whatever. And the paper that we started off before the stucco would go below that, and then we would attach wire. Or we put the wire on and just let it dangle. And the natural cement would push, or natural stucco, would bind into the concrete and it would just absorb by suction, a mechanical bond. So what this fella did here is remarkable. I mean, because it, uh, he said he watched our videos and learned how to do it. And I thought, wow, that's working for you. So what he did was he took a saw and he cut the stucco because it was all the way down. He cut the stucco all the way around the whole house and the garage. And then he did about 100 bucketfuls and he... He did this himself, and I thought, wow, you're a better man than me, because stucco is a two-man job. One guy to apply, one guy to mix. There's a reason for that. Anyway, uh, that's another topic. What I want to point out is, when I was in the trade, we'd take the stucco down. He said, here, what are the two reasons why people want a, a weep screed in? Number one is they say, well, bugs can get under it and go out and back. That's a myth, guys. It can't happen. A mechanical bond with stucco on here is, it creates a bond so powerful, not even a parasite can get up there, let alone a termite. But what is a reality? It's a fact, guys. If the stucco goes to the ground and your mud is right there or your dirt is right there, let alone above it, and you embed that, what happens is the moisture from the rain, it goes on and it absorbs into the stucco and it could rot that paper out a lot of times after 100 years, well, between 60 to 80. It'll, it will beat that paper up. So what folks want is a weep screed. Now, he did this himself. He cut the stucco and put it in. So I'm going to show you this. When the stucco goes here, that's what I consider it's locked in. It's single locked in. There's a lot of terminologies for it, but it's single locked in. I'm going to take you next door to show you double locked in. This is not a big deal when the stucco goes to here and it's just in the foundation. It's not a big deal until water starts seeping up. And I've seen some contractors, they'll take the paper right to the wood. That's a big no-no. The paper's got to be below that mud seal. That's why these are handy. These go an inch to two inches below the mud seal. And yeah, we, we started doing this about 1980. And I started in around 75. So we, didn't, we just started putting these on, what, 40 years ago? Anyhow, they serve a purpose. I'm going to take you across over here. And you'll see um, what I'm referring to. Here's another thing, guys. I notice people are just spoiling the crap out of us, buying us uh, coffee. I thought, hey, the coffee's working. And I thought, I don't eat this stuff. Psych. Unless I'm by myself or with a friend. Anyway, I'm going to take you over here and show you something else. So we're just next door. This house is about 130 years old. Now, you see this crack? And we had, granted, uh, five weeks of rain. The most rain we've had in 30 or 40 years in one single month. So, this is what I call double locked in. The stucco goes to the foundation. And now they butted cement or concrete next to it without a piece of wood in here. You put a piece of wood in here, whether or not it's polyurethane, whatever kind of wood, 
that that makes an expansion. And so you look at that, and somebody might say, wow, that's beat up. That's not beat up, guys. Uh, now you look at this. This is a brick chimney. It's a brick fireplace. And you look at it, and you say, oh, man, that's structural. Guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being as good as they come, I'd rate this a 9. This building has integrity up the yin-yang. It's got integrity, guys. You judge this by... Five weeks of solid rain. What was that? 52 inches, something crazy. Now you're butted up to the concrete. So when the ground lifts, and it will, look at this. This ground is lifting. This wasn't here, they said, uh, a month ago. But with all these days of rains, it lifts. So what happens? It lifts where you can barely see it. And then when it settles, you get a crack. How do I know this is a new crack? There's no dust, dirt, grime, moss in it yet. Simple caulking, guys. Don't. I'm doing cement work here, and I can cement this in about 30 seconds, but it'll take me two minutes to use caulking, and that caulking now flexes as the building flexes. So I wanted to mention what stucco is and why it's taken down to the ground and why if you have a house older than 40 years, no doubt your stucco is to the ground. 80% of all the homes in the world are taken to the ground. Is it such a big deal? No, unless you see the stucco buried with dirt, and I've seen that a lot. Uh, in fact, I was walking the other day, and it was, it was the dirt was up to here, and I thought, those guys are just creating a problem. They have no idea how much it's going to cost them in the future. But anyhow, the point is, guys, if the stucco's to the ground, it's not an issue unless it's full of water, and water travels up and rots at that mud seal here. This is beautiful, man. This, I'm, in fact, I'm going to fix this before I leave today, just with caulking. It's so simple. Anyway, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. I thought I'd explain that because too many myths going on. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, folks, we want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoy the videos that we put out, please like and subscribe so that we can keep making these videos for everybody. And as always, from the, from the entire, entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one. one.